we going? We're rolling, right? What? Thank you. Oh. Come see me. I look good. Tyler smoldering. Come down here and see me. Rowan, <laughs> unique New York. Unique New York. Welcome to MX Sports Center on MXSports.com, courtesy of DMXS Radio, Racer X, coming to you from the AMA Aeronautics Amateur National Motocross Championships, presented by Amsoil. It's been a banner two days for us here on MX Sports Could Center. Can I speak, please? I, you will speak when you are spoken to. It's been a banner. I am Kevin Kelly. I'm one of your hosts here along with uh, Jason Wygant. That's all I need to say. Thanks. We're your hosts. It's been a great two days for us. We're getting 2,500 downloads an hour, so suddenly the budget is skyrocketing, and the attention is as well. We've got these fabulous new coats, the Miami Vice Signature Series, Tubbs, Crockett. They do have to be returned by 11 o'clock tonight, though, and no sweating, so I'm actually sitting in a bucket of ice. Indeed. We've got uh, had enough money to hire another correspondent. Uh, let's go on the road with David Iser. We're here at Loretta Lens with uh, Brock Tickle. What's up, Brock? Nothing much. Just got done with the moto, and I did pretty good. How many times has people made fun of your last name? I don't know, a lot. How many times have you been tickled by complete strangers? Uh, probably a lot, but um, they do it. I'm used to it now. So it's no big deal to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back to you guys. All right, David Eiser, thanks for that report with uh, Brock Tickle. Really in-depth reporting there. Indeed it was. David, uh, we've gotten the budget up a little bit, so now that's like we said. We hired David Eiser, and we've got some awesome racing here at the 24th Annual AMA Aeronautics Amateur National Championship. We're going to cover some A racing, some B racing, plus 35, 12 to 13, so we're going to cover all of the ranges of racing here at Loretta Lens. The full mix coming your way. All right, 125B mod. This is what they call the Josh Hill class. He's in 125B mod and 125B stock. And here we are in the mod class. And out front early is a 75. He looks so smooth. Sean Hackley chasing him, Kevin. There's Will Hahn and uh, Brock Tickle who had to work his way around Hahn. Man, it was stacked up in this class for sure. Lots of talent out there. But Josh Hill's turning A-level lap times in the B class. Hackley, give him credit, tried to run him down. But uh, Josh Hill's on a rail out here at Loretta's. Tickle's still coming on strong. Yeah, Tickle, like we said, took him a while to get around uh, number 66, Will Hahn. But eventually here, you'll see the battle starting to set up. Yeah, Tickle uh, started tickle him high, tickle him low. Got uh, Hill, uh, Will Hahn a little bit distracted there. And that put uh, Tickle, actually moved it to the number two spot. And uh, even able to get around the 8-8 of Hackley. But uh, really, it doesn't matter. There's our man, Jace Lewis, trying to stay in the top five spot. Lewis riding well, Hackley riding well. But to be honest, this class, as we said, it's the Josh Hill class. He wants to win six motos out of six out here. And uh, he was well on his way to doing that in this one. There is a 75. Great style. Cruising to another win. Yeah, I felt good out there. Just, uh, That's a pretty good list. Pretty, Let's getting pretty hot tonight. Nice, but I've been training Rock for a couple days. 250 open A. Lots of competition in this one. Gate is down. The rider to look for is the 31 of Mike LaPaglia. He said he wanted to work on a Horizon Award this week, but out front early was Scott Simon, 81. There's LaPaglia, Kevin. In fact, it is. Good call, Jason. Yes, I'm just uh, calling the numbers. That's exactly what they are. Now, LaPaglia catches Simon, starts to put the pressure on. It looked like LaPaglia was going to go to the lead. He did temporarily, but then he goes down. There he is still battling through the pack, and you see him right here. Zaps all his momentum after the uh, six pack. Yeah, he tried to quad it to make up time. Couldn't do it. Scott Simon takes advantage and takes the win. Vet 30 plus class on the gate. <laughs> at number 35, Chris Kraft had a shot at glory and threw it away. Yep, that's what Kevin Walker does, or is that uh, Ezra Lusk? And the number 11, Yamaha, that might be Ezra Lusk. But as you see the riding style, you can tell that's the familiar Kevin Walker trying to win two titles this week and break an all-time win record here. That thing was nitrous charged, I believe. Yeah, that was very fast command of the corner. Another win for Kevin Walker. 85 stock, 12-13, one of the premier classes out here for youth riders. You really put yourself on the map with a win out here. They charge into the first turn. Taryn O'Dell grabbing a big hole shot in the 72, but look at that. Over jumps that huge jump. Grabbing a handful of throttle, flat wheels, the big tabletop in the middle of the track. It's almost impossible to get over that in 80. He lands hard. Then Eli Tomac goes down. Opened it wide open. It looked like it was Terran O'Dell's day, but he actually hurt his wrist on that hard landing. Justin Barsha and there Blake Wharton starting to make time on him. There it is again. Barsha been pretty steady all week long, running top two or three every moto out. That's how you win titles. Now here's the battle. Wharton coming on strong. Going to put the moves on Barsha, try to get to second and go after Odell. 
the leader. Odell talked about that uh, incident where he overjumped the tabletop, kind of hurt his wrist. Yeah, that makes a big impact. And late in this moto, he will get zapped. Wharton on a rail manages to get the lead. And now Barsha goes to work on Taryn Odell. And look at Wharton. He rode very, very well in this moto. Sean Reif way back in the pack. Inconsistent, just barely in the top 10. That's going to make it tough for him to win a title. Eli Tomac was even worse. Got probably like a third, fourth place start. Got passed by a couple guys and started going real fast at the end. So I got second, so it was good. All right, awesome racing out here. That's what it's all about here at Loretta Lynn's Ranch. We're wearing our Kawasaki shirts. It's Kawasaki night here. And uh, we sent David Iser out not only to tickle Brock Tickle, but to find one of the outstanding talents of Kawasaki Team Green. Ryan Villapoto, he has had a pretty successful week so far, so uh, let's go see if uh, David Iser can be successful in his quest to find Ryan Villapoto. Man, we're here. Loretta's trying to find uh, Villapoto for an interview. You think he's uh, fast on the track? He's trying to catch him in the pits. Back to you in a second. All right, well, David Iser, we wish you luck in your quest. Uh, he's, he's a rookie to our staff here tonight, so uh, we'll give him a little more time to track down Villapoto. Uh, speaking of tracks, uh, a tradition for Team Green Kawasaki, they have their Kawasaki track walk where they take two of their superstar pro riders. This year, James Stewart, Ivan Tedesco, and all the riders in the 50 and 65 CC classes get to walk the track with them and learn all the fast lines from the pros. Yeah, speaking of fast lines, they actually hooked a trackside transponder to James Stewart's uh, Oakley shoe, and he actually skimmed the whoops, turned a sub two minute lap time on his feet during that track walk on his feet skimming the whoops we checked with uh, Kevin Kozad about uh, skimming some of the Ten Commandments and yeah he said it is okay to double or skip some of the commandments so MXOs for Jesus approves of that and a sub two minute lap time on the track walk that's how fast these guys are it's pretty impressive our report coming in apparently David Iser has tracked down Ryan Villapoto let's go to that best of luck David we're still looking for Villapoto somebody say he was out here in the canoe so we're gonna check this see if this is him up here back to you guys all right, David Iser, no luck in finding Ryan Villapoto yet, uh, probably looking in the wrong places. Yeah, you're right, Jason. Uh, Ryan had a moto today in the 125A class, and it was all him. No Jason Lawrence in that one? It was all Ryan Villapoto. Let's get to clips of some more racing highlights. Yeah, we're going to watch Shea Bentley in the 65, 10 to 11 as he came back to Loretta's to defend some of his titles. Yeah, it's unbelievable. He's so short he could actually pass for a little bit younger age. Let's go to it. Next class, 65, mod 7 to 11. It's transitioning into that 80cc class. A lot of KTMs out here, Jason Wigand. Yes, you're right, Kevin Kelly. Into the first turn, out front early was number 25, Brandon Mays. This class is confusing. You've got Hayes, you've got Mays, you've got Cole Thompson in there, and a couple of great riders. Here it is, your leader early was Mays, but uh, he will get some pressure from Cole Thompson, and there's the impact. Mays goes down. Cole Thompson going to roll by here in the 24. Cole Thompson looked to have this one in control, and then suddenly he just disappeared from the radar screen altogether. Mays able to remount and put a charge back together. Yeah, that worked for him. Even despite a fall, he manages to come back and win the moto. Brent Jernigan on the 23, painting his name in the map. Look at how deep those ruts are. Yeah, those little 65. 60s getting gobbled up here. Yeah, man, not much ground clearance on these bikes. But either way, Brandon Mays takes a win. 250 open B stock for Smith out front early. For Smith out of Odessa, Florida taking the lead early, but then he handed it over to number 61 Missouri rider Jimmy Albertson. Yeah, Albertson had a moto win already on the week, pulling away. It seemed like it was all his moto, but look at Brock Tickle on the charge. Smith drops back just a little bit on the 70, but Brock Tickle coming on strong. Yeah, it took Brock a while. He kept charging and was eventually able to make his way up into the front of the pack. There's Albertson out front, but he eventually would get caught and passed by Brock Tickle and Tickle from out of the pack. You see him trying to run Albertson down. Tickle goes on to take the win. 125A, Ryan Villapoto working on his first title ever here at Loretta's. He's 15, 52 is Freddie Carley, 34, Mike McDade. But they all have speed, but nothing like Ryan Villapoto in the 15. Villapoto on a rail here. We saw him out of the back of the pack in a pro sport class. 125A with a start, forget it. Bonnie was uh, trying to keep him honest there in second. There's uh, Freddie Carley. And uh, how about uh, Martin Davalos? We're actually going to go to our Ecuadorian Sports Center feed. Mano, 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 super sabado sensacionalismo de Martin Davalos. Martin Davalos on a rail, coming from the back, but uh, no one had the answer for this guy. Jake Weimer comes from out of the top 10 to third, but Villapoto takes the win. 125 stock, 12-15. This is the true 125 class. Matt Lemoyne, DNF the first moto out front of this one, but the battle is on Austin's troop, Zach Osborne. Ryan Dungey in there as well, Kevin. Indeed he was. There's uh, another shot of Osborne and Stroop. 
Stroop and Osborne almost identical pace all weekend long, and this is the battle. They were this close pretty much the whole way, the 39 and the 19. This youth class, they don't run out of speed. They don't run out of energy. There's Trey Kennard. Trey Kennard in the 41 was in the pack as well, but, uh, well, Matt Lemoyne not going to win a title, but he's serving notice. <laughs> Man, does he land hard there. Stroop and Osborne are tied for the championship going to the final moto. Well, welcome back to MX Sports Center. Those were uh, highlights from some of the second motos. I am obviously not Kevin Kelly, and this is not Jason Wygant. Of course, it's the GOAT himself, Ricky Carmichael, RC. Welcome back to uh, Loretta Lens. Hey, this is uh, this is where it all started. This is the mecca of amateur racing, and uh, I'm just glad to be here. You know, I, I appreciate uh, everybody for the warm welcome. Now, I understand you got your uh, bus right over there, right next to Bubba's. Fortunately, his bus is not on yours. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good, I'm happy about that, you know, but uh, we're past that, we're moving on. All right, well, what about your mom's here? I saw that she's working down in the uh, impound area. She's taking numbers off the kids and Big Rick's up there kind of holding court in the uh, Fox Den and uh, J.H., Scott Taylor, the, the whole crew's here. Even yeah, Boo's here. The, the whole crew is here, you know. Uh, this is the roots of uh, where I came from, as you know, and, uh, you know, I think it's important. My mom, like you said, is working out there. I think she uh, loves to do that. She'd be having riding schools at my property probably every day if she wasn't working with me or, or doing my paperwork and running my business. And uh, my dad, as far as him, this is uh, pretty much a grown-up spring break for him. Uh, he's got some old buddies of, of, of his up here, and uh, he enjoys being out here. And uh, I really like to see my parents having a good time and, and as well as my friends. Well, you got a, another record-breaking season. And actually, every time you race, you uh, break some kind of record. But this week, uh, an old friend of yours is about to break a record. You guys are tied with 10, talking about Kevin Walker, who might get 12 titles this week. You know what? I, I hope he does. That would be amazing. Uh, Kevin, I've, I've known him for a long time. I was on 60s and 80s, uh, racing up in Tennessee in the Mega Series and uh, watching watching him race. The guy's unbelievable, racing with uh, guys like Damon Bradshaw and, and, and stuff like that. It, uh, and to see him out here, and he's probably going to be the uh, all-time winningest rider here at uh, Loretta Lens. I, I hope he pulls through. Uh, it's going to break Tony Alessi's heart, but that's probably just about it. Yeah. Anyway, listen, we're going to watch some Red Bull freestyle next. RC, good luck in France. Glad you're on board for Team USA. Man, I, I, I'm glad to be picked. I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm telling you right now, we're, uh, they should just mail the trophy to us. We're going to win, <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, right on. Some Red Bull stuff. And, uh, by the way, sweet jacket. Thank you. I like it. Yours isn't bad yourself. All right, Red Bull Freestyle, second year they've had it here at Loretta's. It was awesome again. They keep pushing the envelope a little bit more. The envelope literally, Ronnie Renner actually was stopped on an envelope with his front and brake pushed and pushed it. it. As did Mike Jones and Jeff Full Tilt Tilton here with the Red Bull Freestyle event. And, wow, some big, sick whiffs. And maybe we got some highlights. Of yeah, let's go to a replay. Let's go to an instant replay here, slow-mo of that Ronnie Renner rip. All right, get off the table. Get off the table. Uh, man, that was... That was sick. Come on, Indeed it was. That was sick. Indeed it was. Man. All right, now uh, apparently David Iser has tracked Ryan Villapoto down. He's found the answer, man. So uh, let's go to it. Yeah, let's do that. Wait when, a minute. When did Coombs and Carmichael show up on the set? Go to the clip. Here we are at Loretta Lynn's recording studio, post office, gift shop. We are still looking for Ryan Villapoto. We have looked everywhere. We thought he was canoeing. We tried to chase him in the pits. I've come to my last resort to find him for this interview today. Oh, great spirit, have you seen Ryan Villapoto? The great spirit hasn't seen him either. Back to you guys. Uh, well, David Iser strikes out again. Can't find Ryan Villapoto anywhere. Well, I'm sure he's going to be racing at some point here at Loretta Lens. A great day of racing so far, and uh, 
we're ready to do it all over again. Yeah, we are. The only place to find Ryan Villapoto consistently is on the racetrack at the AMA Amateur Nationals, the Aeronautics Nationals, presented by Amsoil. And I guess that's going to wrap up our show. That's going to do it. No, sure. the show's not over yet, guys. The first thing you got to do is you got to get your arms up. Oh, oh, you oh, can't oh, elbows be up. sitting here without your arms up. Okay, elbows and, up. And and you got to have one finger on the mic. Okay, no, you, you got to get around one finger. Can I run two fingers on the mic, Gary? You can run two. He's got to run one. You can be Wyndham, and he can be uh, what? Ricky Carmichael. So. You're okay. probably going to get beat. <laughs> it happens all the time. How about that, guys? There all right. Is. Have a good day. Thanks, Professor Bailey, for the technique. We got our elbows up, fingers on the, uh, fingers on the mic, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Oh, Neato. Neato. Neato, gang. Super Dude. duper. Jason, why high five? Yeah. <laughs>